Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Cody again. Uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, RPCs and bridging over assets from Ethereum to Polygon. I know I had done a video before, uh, it was a little longer, uh, but this is going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, it's going to be about five minutes long, and um, if you guys like the video, uh, you can like, subscribe, whatever you feel is best. Uh, totally up to you. Um, but let's just jump right into it. Seriously. I'm going to be turning off my camera on this one because uh, I want to be able to show you guys the most detail uh, of the full screen. Um, and yeah, so the reason why I'm doing this is because a lot of people that are within the Telpoint community have been listening to me talk about DFX and how I think that, you know, they're really on to something. They're doing big things. Um, it's very relatable to the traditional finance world. Um, and they have a very big following and very good backing. So um, it's not only that, though. I, I do have to say, though, I am uh, officially with the team now. I work uh, as their growth marketing and uh, public affairs lead. Um, so yeah, again, let me uh, go ahead and show you guys a little bit how to bridge over these assets or you know, add in your RPC, um, essentially another blockchain or network that you can operate on. So the first thing you're gonna need if you don't already have one is have MetaMask, the browser extension. Now, again, you can do this through your phone as well. Um, it's, it's a little harder uh, since it's more obviously compact. Um, I would just recommend trying it on an actual browser uh, desktop um, before anything else. And all these links I will include down below in the description so you guys can have a better idea and you can check them out, vet them for yourself, uh, because I want you guys to be able to do your own due diligence and see that uh, not everyone's out to get everyone. Uh, I'm trying to give you the, the best overall success uh, possible because uh, I know how it can be whenever assets get lost in limbo or someone tries to you know, take from you. Uh, it's just not cool. So please, you know, obviously vet these, uh, check them out. Um, and again, let's go. Uh, so the MetaMask uh, extension, uh, you can go ahead and download it easily, uh, download it easily through the um, install MetaMask for Brave. That's the browser that I use. Uh, you can see some of the other supported browsers as well. Uh, so after you've went ahead and downloaded it, you'll see that you'll get a little extension up at the top here. Uh, and you can see that as of right now, it'll automatically default you to the Ethereum main network. I went ahead and made a DFX test wallet for everyone to see. Um, but the main thing we need to do is add the Polygon network, right? So Polygon Scan is a great website. It's, it's the Ether Scan equivalent uh, for Polygon. Uh, so again, Polygon is a layer two solution. Uh, for Ethereum, uh, meaning that you're going to be able to have these fast transactions at a fraction of the cost. Um, so basically Ethereum 2.0, but now. Um, and you get to keep the security um, because it operates from the, the Ethereum main chain. So it's basically like a side chain, essentially. Um, however, the easiest way to go ahead and add this RPC or the Matic network is by going to Polygon Scan and scrolling down all the way down to the bottom. And you'll see that you'll have this add Polygon network. So if you already have the Polygon network added to your browser extension, this will not show up for you. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, but we're gonna view all details just to verify this is exactly what we want. We don't want any malicious things. Uh, the network URL, I switch out. However, you can use this one if you choose to do so. Um, and we'll go ahead and we will approve it. So it's saying allow this site to switch the network. Sweet, we switched the network and you will see at the top, Matic mainnet. So it went from a main, uh, the Ethereum mainnet all the way to the Matic mainnet. So now you have it added and you can, you can move back and forth very easily, right? I've already sent two Matic to this wallet, um, just you know, as a precaution, just to have it there already. However, you can use a Matic faucet that will give you a little portion of Matic for free. And again, I'll include that link down below. Uh, and you can go ahead and try it out and move some money back and forth uh, without you know risking uh, your own uh, assets. So, uh, very interesting. Next, obviously, if we want to be able to bridge over our assets, the easiest way to do it is going to be wallet.polygon.technology. Um, it's going to ask you to log in with it. So, so if this is your first time logging in, again, it does this with any decentralized exchange that you're doing. It's just confirming that you have access to this wallet and they are requesting, you know, obviously uh, access the view that wallet um, and potentially operate on it. So we're going to connect using our browser wallet. We're going to get brought up here. And as you can see, we have the DFX test wallet, which is to Matic, right? We're going to connect it. It's going to say greetings from Polygon. Go ahead and sign that. 
and you're going to be brought to this screen. But what we're really focused on is the Polygon bridge because we want to move assets from Ethereum to Polygon. And just for, you know, obviously for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to be actually moving over the assets uh, due to the, the cost as of right now. Um, it's going to cost probably about 250 to $300. Again, but it's a one-time thing um, to transfer over to Polygon. And once it's over there, you can move your assets freely around uh, within the Polygon ecosystem. And you can always move them back to Ethereum just by withdrawing your assets if you choose to do so. So that's totally up to you. Um, again, so we'll see here, there is, it says choose token from Ethereum. Uh, I don't think I have any that are actually in here outside of uh, Matic, you know, so, well, actually it wants me to switch to Ethereum real quick. So let me switch back, there we go. So it's gonna, um, pretty much you can go ahead and select your, your token or whatever you wanna do you know, that you wanna send over to Polygon. Uh, once you have that, you can go ahead and click transfer. It'll prompt you, let's see if it even does anything. Okay, here we go. So here's this random token that someone sent me, right? And you can see that we are able to transfer it over to the Polygon network. It says deposit of funds takes seven to eight minutes. Go ahead and click continue. And you'll see that for approving the deposit, it's gonna cost $57.47. That would be of Ethereum. And then to complete the deposit, it would be 239. These are all rough estimates, but with the way gas is right now, it seems about right, to be honest with you. You would go ahead and click continue and then move on to it and then you'll be able to actually move it over. Uh, once that's seven to eight minutes, honestly, I'd give it about 15 just to be safe, just to have it completely all verified. It's gonna ask you to confirm it. It'll come back to the same screen. You click confirm, that's whenever it'll, you'll pay the additional uh, completion fee and uh, you'll be able to view those assets over on Polygon. Uh, so it's super easy, uh, super simple. Um, if you do have any questions whatsoever, uh, you can always um, send me a message. Um, I'm within the DFX community, uh, the Discord channel. I'll include those links down below as well. Uh, yeah, we want to. I want to try to give you the, the best tools overall to help you be able to have the best financial opportunities without actually giving you uh, the financial advice. This is all just friendly advice saying, hey, if you guys wanna try this out, go for it. If you don't, great, that's just how it is. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I try to keep it short, uh, still running about seven, eight minutes. So uh, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, we'll talk soon, later.